Hi, I'm RC Jim. Uh, just uh, having uh, done a little video on the uh, uh, linear brake mode for the uh, dual sky, um, I got thinking about something I'd like to share with you guys about uh, switches, you know, safety switches. Now, oftentimes uh, people will wire up something like this as a safety switch, and it's a, just a little plug that goes into the side of the airplane. Uh, so this is mounted in your airplane. You got this wired up in your power going uh, from the battery to the um, ESC. Uh, and uh, then when you want to disarm your plane where everything's totally safe, you have this out. When you get out to the flight line and you're ready to go, you plug this thing in and off you go. However, there's a downside to that. One thing is you got another set of connections here. and. This one, I'm not real sure about. Well, I guess that's okay, that solder connection. Um, but it's another place where something could short out. There could be a problem, you know, there. You've got the plug itself, and as I look at this one, it's all dark inside. You know, this is one that was on a plane that I acquired from somebody else. That one's nice and shiny. That one is really nasty looking, you know. So, yes, I could pull off this cover and... and um, put a new plug in there with, you know, th this has just simply got a little jumper soldered across. Um, but you've got all of that entered into the high power, high current part of your circuit, which is not terribly good. Well, the other day I uh, saw advertised on the internet these little guys, and they, they said, hey, you know, you can have a 90 amp switch, you know. And I thought, wow, you know, I'll try that and I'll do some testing to see how much of a, um, uh, a loss we have of voltage going through that and uh, see whether that's a good solution. But I get this thing and I look at the side of it and on the switch it says 15 amp. <laughs> that's a 15 amp switch on a circuit that's supposed to be for... Uh, 90 amps, uh, 90 amps continuous or uh, 120 amps burst, you know, <laughs> a 15 amp switch? Do you think I'm going to trust my plane to that? <laughs> don't think so. Well, the great thing is, is that Dual Sky, and I don't know if others are doing this or not, but uh, Dual Sky with their ESCs. Okay, the cool thing is that Dual Sky now offers a ESC with a switch. So you've got this little uh, power lead here that your switch plugs into. And so I'll match up red and black, not for a switch that it makes any difference. Um, but now we've got a switch and this switch will turn on or off the power to the receiver. Okay, So if you got this turned off then the receiver doesn't have any power and it can't send any signal to the ESC to send power to the motor and you know it's turned off and you turn this on and in the circuitry uh, with the um, uh, programming and the electronics in there it says okay now we can send power to the uh, BEC the battery elimination circuit and power up the receiver we're ready to go so there you've got a low current uh, solution a switch that is not part of the high amperage circuit going between uh, your battery and the motor. Um, so you're not going to get any loss of power by having that. You've got the safety of being able to turn it on and off right at the flight line. And hey, that is magic. So I love that. What I don't really like is their linear brake mode, but you need to watch the other video and see about that. <laughs> okay, so this is RC Jim signing off. You have a great day. Enjoy your flying. If you haven't done so already, subscribe and have a look at some of our other videos. Have a great day.